Dear viewers, this video will present you a simple conception and overview about touch potential and step potential and use of earth mat under the surface of switchyard to reduce earth resistance which in turn reduces touch potential and step potential. Please watch. Step potential and touch potential. When earth fault involves with an structure, fault current flows to earth through the structure having earth resistance of minimum value. During flow of fault current, voltage appears at structure as well as at the surface of the substation for a while and remains till the fault current does not go to earth potential or faulty part is not disconnected. At this instant, a person touching a faulty structure should get a shock during flow of fault current through the structure. And a person working on the floor of the substation should get a shock during flow of fault current. It should not be. During flow of fault current through earthing system, the voltage between his feet of a person and his raised finger touching structure is known as touch potential and voltage between his two feet that is one step is step potential. Touch potential and step potential is minimized by minimizing earth resistance using earth mat. Step and touch potential increases during the flow of short circuit current and the resistivity of stones are considerably high as compared to other materials. That is why stones or pebbles or gravels are laid in the substation which offer high resistance to flow of fault current thereby reduces the step potential and touch potential in case of maintenance or working on live equipment. At this picture, a structure of a substation holding power line with accessories. Suppose an earth fault EF occurs between the line and the structure body. Fault current IS flows through the structure to earth and subsequently voltage appears at the substation structure as well as at the surface of the substation near the fault structure. A potential distribution along the axis of the structure occurs, keeping maximum potential at the fault point and gradually decreases toward earth. So, potential gradient that is difference in electrical potential across the distance or space at each point is developed during flow of fault current. Suppose a person standing on the floor of the substation touches the faulty structure by raising his finger. Voltage at touch point is VA and voltage at his feet is VB. A voltage or potential difference VA minus VB causes a flow of current through his body which offers him electrical shock. Here VA minus VB is the touch potential. Similarly, potential gradient along the surface of the floor surrounding the fault structure is also developed. A person is standing here where his right leg 
on a distributed potential circle of potential Vx and left leg on Vy potential circle. So potential difference is Vx minus Vy which causes a flow of current through his body and the person will feel a shock. This is due to step potential. Vx minus Vy is equal to Vs the step potential. The mat is formed by placing mild steel bars placed in y and x directions in mass formation in the soil at a depth of about 0.5 to 0.6 meter below the surface of the substation floor in the entire substation area except foundations. The crossing of horizontal bars are welded. The mass ensure uniform and zero potential distribution on horizontal surface of the floor of the substation. Thank you for watching this video.